Come on, waiter. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? <coughs> it's been a while since we all got together and had some food, but really is a good excuse so we can talk to Tammy. Slow down, little piglet. Yeah, I'm hungry, Aunt Tammy. Mm -hmm. This talk is kind of like an ultimatum. It's whether you get together or you go in the home so they can help you get together. They look good. Actually, they smell better than they look. This dinner can go any which way direction because it can be great and we just move forward from this point. Or it could be a knockdown, drag out argument and we could get kicked the hell out of the house. If she does, I'm taking the damn food with me. Just to f her off. <laughs> you know, everybody here is on a diet except Michael and my wife. And it ain't gonna hurt them to eat the same food we do, so I just cooked one set of food. That's fine. I need to get on that diet myself, so. You had to buy a bigger pair of pants for work. Who did? Michael. Me. Hey, that's what happens. <laughs> How's it taste? It's good. You like it? I love Brussels sprouts. I do too. I plan on telling Tammy that I got approved for surgery, but I'm afraid, you know, she could get depressed over the whole situation. So I am worried about telling Tammy. It's, you know, as we grow older, we're not as healthy as we should be. The big thing is the other day I went to Dr. Smith and I did go ahead and get approved for surgery. Tammy is being nonchalant about it. I mean, I'm happy for my brother. I want him to succeed. But I guess it's just making her sadder because she didn't get hers. You know, I mean, Tammy, we started this journey to finish it together. I got ahead of you a little bit. But just because I got approved doesn't mean I'm gonna leave you behind and not push you when you need to be pushed. And to be perfectly honest, I know Jerry helps around the house a lot, but I also know he contributes to your diet being unhealthy. Not anymore. I know there were some times that I brought food over and be like, hey, try this. But I haven't done that in a real long time. We've been doing this diet together for months. And your weight has went up instead of down. <sighs> I've been trying. Y'all ain't here every day. You're right, I'm not. Because I have a life of my own. But I also know. But I'm not gonna have y'all attacking him. I'm not attacking him. I know you love him, fine. And I respect that. But at the same token, he does not need to be your enabler. He's not. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. The other day I come in here and he cooked a meatloaf the size of this pan for you too. Okay, doesn't mean I ate it that day. Tell me you got a food addiction. Don't sit there and play no games with me. He cannot be Is your enabler. Is this why we're doing this? What are you talking about? This conversation. If this is why y'all are doing it, I'm leaving. Then leave. Y'all are yelling. Ain't, ain't nobody yelling here, but you're getting offensive. Yeah, because y'all are blaming him. I don't want to talk about it no more. That's your answer to everything. This was supposed to be fun, not this Every time we try to talk to you about anything you don't like, you choose to shut down. It's my way of not fighting. Ain't nobody here trying to fight. We're trying to talk. We care about you. We want you to be around. We understand you got a food addiction. Fine.
take and run with the therapy and go. Lose weight. I never hey. said I wasn't going to talk to a therapy. You're not? I never said that. You didn't. I told you to take the information and work with the therapist and start losing weight. Because if you don't, you're going to be bedridden. And then, like Dr. Proctor said, once you're bedridden, it's game over. We don't want to lose you. It doesn't matter. Thank you, baby. I'm going outside. I'll come back and clean the mess up. And I'll leave. I'm not putting up with your ass today. She's gained 100 pounds in the last few months. And if I'm not bringing her the food and Amy's not bringing, bringing her the food, then Jerry's got to be bringing it to her because the ain't leaving the house. He's got to start following the diet that she's on or she's going to absolutely kill herself from eating. You don't give a drug addict drugs, so why would you give somebody with a food addiction food? Let's go get it done. This meal wasn't brought here, and we're not doing this today to fight with you, Tammy. We do want you to understand that we love you, even though you don't think we do. It was not me here that it was not discussed to sit here and fight over Jerry, whether he's here or not. I don't really give. I'm more worried about your happiness and your health. But if the therapy doesn't work, the only alternative I see is a controlled environment. But I'd rather you be off at me the rest of your life and lose this weight than you die. So really, honestly, the ball is in your court. And that's all I got to say about the whole situation. I will clean up the mess I made by cooking. To be perfectly honest, if Tammy don't take what we have to say to heart, it's gonna cost her her life. Whether she takes it that serious or not is the $5,400 question.